Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul the, and truth lies within. So in today's blessing, we're going to learn about what does it exactly mean to be double light. Yesterday's blessing was about double light in which we learned that if we are double light, then all our problems, all the situations which we face, we can face them easily. But let's get into the details further here. So God says in the blessing... May you be loving and detached, loving towards God, godly ways, and detached from the iron age or the Kalyugi world or the ways of the old world or the ways of the sinful world, like the Father. So, God the Father is detached, but He is still loving towards His children and become double light by surrendering everything to the Father. So, in some religions, we call Him as the Father. In some religions, he is known as the maker, the creator. In some religions, he is also known as Kudrat or Allah. And we call him as a Malik or the owner of our lives in some religions. So let's understand what does he want us to do by the definition of double light. So God says to be double light means to surrender everything to the Father. First is, I am a soul. This is the body which has been given to me by Supreme Father. That is one light. I, the soul, am a light. And the body is not mine. I have taken it on loan from this earth which belongs to God the Father or the owner of all the worlds. So then God says, to be double light means to surrender everything to the Father. Why to surrender everything to the Father? This body is also not mine. So I have to surrender it to somebody who owns it, right? When we take something on loan, we return it back, right? Or we use it in the way or the method or the laws which have been set. So God has also set certain laws for this body. What to eat, what not to eat, when to sleep, when to wake up. How to keep this body healthy or what we call it as pure or sattvic. So God says, even this body is not mine. The Father has given you this body to do service. Service means to do spiritual service. Spiritual service means to show everybody the path of liberation or mukta or salvation or nirvana show everybody the path by using this body by using the mouth by using the eyes by using the ears the hands and the legs for that service you promise that body mind and wealth are all his isn't it we have been saying god has given us everything so this body is also included in that wealth is also included in that even a mind has been is also supposed to be included has been included in that so God says, then on what laws, what rules and regulations should you use all three of them? How should you use the body? How should you use the mind? And how should you use the wealth? So the body should be kept clean, not just outwardly, but also what we eat also. It should be sattvic or pure food. Mind should be with sattvic or pure kind of thoughts. If the thoughts are impure, then obviously we are not letting the light of God come into our mind. And wealth also, the source of wealth should be pure. So God says, you promise that body, mind and wealth are all his. Since even body is not yours, what else remains? If this body is not mine, if it belongs to God, then every karma which I do through this body and through which I can earn the wealth or I earn the food which I eat and feed this body with, that also belongs to whom? God the Father. Obviously, he doesn't eat it. But what he means to say is that Everything which you do or every karma which you do to earn the food, to earn the wealth or anything which you do for your happiness, which is limited obviously, the physical worldly happiness. So the comforts which you get from this wealth is also what is belonging to God. So God says then use all that comfort also for doing service. Use that wealth also for doing service. Don't just use it for yourself and just Pass your time on this earth and go away by doing very normal karmas. God wants us to do service of the world, which is an elevated karma. Then God says, so always keep the example of a lotus in your awareness. A lotus grows in muck, right? And we understand that God is giving this as an example. So even if the world is Kali Yuga or the Iron Age world, where our physical bodies are not so healthy, our physical bodies might be having diseases or ailments, God says, but still use it for the right purpose so that you have a healthy body. Mind also gets 
bombarded with so much of information on internet so much of news negative positive but majority is negative negative information negative news what says it's like that muck where the lotus has to be there so keep your mind like lotus keep your body like lotus and the wealth also should be kept like lotus that means pure source of wealth even if you are not earning millions but you should be earning enough and be content with that provided you earning it from the right source so that you can sleep peacefully at night so god says use everything for the right purpose even your mind body and wealth use it for helping other souls to realize this spiritual knowledge so even the wealth has to be used for the right purpose body also for the right purpose even your thoughts that means your mind also has to create thoughts which have to be spoken out through your mouth for the right purpose so then god says so always keep the example of a lotus in your awareness i hope you must have understood what he means i am loving and detached like a lotus lotus is above the muck it is there within the muck amongst everybody else but it is detached from the muck there those who remain detached like this receive a right to god's love those who don't get entangled into my body my mind my wealth or the ego of it they remain loveful to god otherwise those people who claim it to be mine 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 obviously have no space for god in their mind or heart so it says learn this method and how do you learn that method for that you'll have to visit brahma kumari's godly spiritual university where you are taught this method of how to turn everything from impure to pure in this kali yuga through spiritual knowledge have a blessed good night om shanti